Hey guys, Lockie here with a review of the Ford Whip Wing Harness Line 2.0. So in this video I wanted to touch on both the product and the general concept of riding with a harness line on your wing. So let's kick it off with the product. This harness line is a bit unique. It uses a webbing construction with an elastic core. The elastic ensures that the line moves out of your way during maneuvers so it won't wrap around your head or catch anything during tax drives, that sort of thing. Um, the other unique feature of this harness is the buckle. Um, aside from just giving you know standard adjustability to the length of the harness, it's also a really good safety feature. It works really well as a safety quick release, and I've I've tested this for a few weeks and can absolutely cannot fault it. It never accidentally unbuckles or you know does anything it's not meant to do, um, and I actually think it's a really essential feature for um, safe riding with a harness line. So yeah, the, the adjustability is great. Um, it holds its length without slipping, does exactly what it's meant to do. Uh, but yeah, the feature I really wanted to touch on was the, the quick release feature within the buckle itself. I was a little skeptical going into it because I've used the, I've used the buckle on, on the helmets and it's, it's great, uh, but I wasn't sure how much it would transfer across to a harness line that's sort of dangling in the wind. But yeah, as I said, cannot fault it at all. Um, so the simplicity of this buckle is you can easily undo it by pushing it between your thumb and your pointer finger and it just slides apart. And then to do it back up, it's actually magnetic. So all you need to do is move one part next to the other part and it will slide into place using the magnets. So the reason I love this safety feature, I guess, so much is because you can push really hard going upwind without worrying about crashing while you're still hooked in. Because if you do crash whilst you're still hooked onto the wing, you simply just twist it between your thumb and your pointer finger, it releases and you're no longer hooked in underwater, which is really great. And then once you get back on your board, you can either reach under, hook it on there, and you can easily do it with one hand because it has the magnetic feature. Or once you're up and riding, what I like to do is get going, jump onto the next little wave or whatever's, you know, base or whatever's there, grab the harness, lift it up next to the, like bring the two magnets together essentially, and it clicks back into place. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's sort of the, the product side of things. That's all the key features of the harness line. And... That's the, the feature that I really wanted to touch on, the, the safety side of things. But I guess, yeah, the other part of this is I wanted to touch on the pros and cons of riding with a harness line in general with on your wing. So the big pros that I've found is you can ride up wing, wind for a long time without straining your arms, which is a really important thing for people that do multiple sessions a week or, or you know, they can only get out once a week and they want to maximize the time that they get on the water within that one session. Yeah, and then the domino effect, or the second pro that I'd say from this, is it enables you to use larger wings, which then has the domino effect of allowing you to ride smaller foils. Um, I'm a really big fan of riding big wings with small foils because I love the performance of small foils, and a big wing is sometimes just a necessity to unlock that smaller foil because it gets you going when the wind's a little bit lighter. So, yeah, that's, that's sort of the, the pros of, of riding with that harness line. For the cons, I would say it's, I guess, another line that you could potentially get tangled in. You know, you've got your board leash, you've got your wing leash, now you've got a loop running from your front handle to your back handle that you could potentially, you know, get caught in. Uh, but in saying that, the Ford Whip Wing Harness Line 2.0 has that awesome quick release, so you're never too far away from getting untangled if that was to happen. But in saying that, I didn't get tangled when I was riding as a, the, the one thing that would have happened for me whilst testing this out was having a crash while still hooked in. And yeah, that's where that quick release comes really handy. So aside from getting tangled, I guess the other con that I would see with riding with a harness line is the potential for crashes that are a little bit more dangerous or a little bit more damaging because um, generally when I crash or you know have a big stack you you sheet it in quite hard you, you know the, the foil comes out of the water or you, or you get too high on the foil it sort of sends your board out behind you um, and if you let go of your wing you're not going to get distance away from your board whereas 
when I crash, I like to sheet them in the backhand, bring my wing overhead, which has the effect of sort of up, upwards lift instead of forward lift. So it carries me up and slowly brings me into the water, which is sort of reduces the impact of the crash and also acts in decelerating me over a longer period of time as opposed to a really quick stop by just smacking into the water. So yeah, with, with a harness line, you don't really have that option to push the wing up above your head because you've, got, you've only got the length of the harness to get the wing away from you, which is gonna keep you know, your handle sort of within, within sort of your eye height, I guess. Um, so that's, yeah, that's just another, another awkward part of, um, of riding with a harness line, but I, I think if you spend enough time dialing it in, the potential for that risk to show itself is somewhat low. So that's sort of the pros and the cons. I definitely think the pros outweigh the cons, especially for me. Um, as always, things are pretty nuanced and um, one solution for one person's, you know, not the solution for another person. So I just think that everyone should give it a go and see, uh, see if it's for you. I think for those that are sort of on the fence and, and do want to give it a go, the forward whip harness line, is the one to test it out with because you've got that added safety feature. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a precarious situation, you've, you've got a quick release and, and you're good to go. So that's about it for the video. Um, I've also posted a review of Ford Whip's Wing Belt 2.0, which pairs really well with this harness line. So make sure you head over and check that video out as well. As always, these products and a wide range of quality wing foiling gear can be found over on the OTB Marine website. So otbmarine.com.au. I'll have a link below in the description. Make sure to go check them out. And for those overseas, I'd say head to Ford Whip's website and they've got a section on the website where you can find your closest local dealer. Um, yeah, so you can get your hands on these awesome products. That's about it for me. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one.